Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. This week we have five fun, easy fall nail art designs to share with you. In this video I am using all Holo Taco products, but those could easily be interchanged with things you already have in your collection. I'm using a multi-chrome, some of the rainbow linear holo polishes, we have some scattered holo polishes, and some of the toppers as well. Then for supplies, we're going to need some tweezers, some optional protective peel for easier cleanup, then some makeup sponges, and then I got these charms from Cirque Colors, but you could use any sort of charm you have, and then some acetone for cleanup as well. So for every nail in this manicure, I am using a peely base topped with the smoothing base. The first look is a pretty easy one. This is a multi-chrome nail with some unicorn skin over it. For the multi-chrome, I am using Cat's Evasion, which is this beautiful pink that shifts over to green. And this one really stood out as a fall color to me. It reminds me of like sh different shades of leaves on the trees. I really love this. And then adding that unicorn skin topper to over it gives it this depth and kind of another shift from a different direction and it's really cool. A lot of the looks in this video are reminiscent of leaves. I am from New England so I think I just see that a lot so it's on my mind. And then here you can see that final shot that shift through to the gold and the green and it really looks like all different kind of leaves to me. It just screams fall and I absolutely love this one. So next up, this is a really simple look. This is just using the one coat black, and then we throw on a coat of Xyler the cat. And to me, again, this one just reminds me of those fall leaves coming down. I love how this one looks in the light with the hollow, and then even just over the black and in direct lighting, it's still so beautiful. Next up, we have a fall nighttime gradient with a moon charm. Uh, this one I did do a coat of one coat black and then we're going to sponge on some of those linear hollows over it. I am coming in with protective peel just to make the cleanup easier. Acetone really dries out my skin so I like to use that when I can. Then I put a coat of the scattered hollow taco on the black, thinking that that would look like some stars up in the night sky. Here we are sponging the two gradient colors onto the sponge, and then we're just going to put those right onto, oh, what's that? Let me know in the comments if you want a swatch and review of this polish, Got Cake by Hollow Taco. All right, back to the gradient. So we're sponging on the purple and magenta, and you can see right here that we got that on. I do wish I left a little bit more black, but you can undo it once you do it, so be careful. And then I'm going to grab a little moon. Now this you could use like a star or even just uh, like a hex glitter, anything really, just to make it some sort of accent on the nail. And then I did kind of center it with the tweezers. And then I came in with a coat of purple flaky hollow taco to look like some stars in the sky. And then we'll finish it off with glossy top coat and you can see that nail in its entirety. I do want to try some different variations of this over the next few months and I think that this is a just a cute manicure for any time of year. So next up we have a linear scattered hollow kind of gradient thing going on. This one to me reminds me of like a pile of leaves. So I started out with one coat of orange drink, and then I'm putting on protective peel, but that's not fully necessary for this. It's easy to get these glitters off. But so we just put those onto the sponge, you kind of sponge that onto the tip of the nail, or you could do it from the cuticle area going out the other way.
And then I did come in with one coat of the glitters off of the brush just to get some of that orange base back on the nail because it did soak into the sponge. Then we'll finish off with some top coat and here you can see that nail. I love the two different types of hollow in this one. All right, and finally we have the sunset and leaves manicure. This one in hindsight is more of an end of summer fall look. I think it looks like a really pretty sunset and then we add that gold flaky at the end and it looks like leaves coming down in front of the sunset. I think it's so pretty. This one I did do with three colors for the gradient and if you have shorter nails you could still do three or even four if you wanted to. You'll just want to do thinner stripes when you're putting it onto the sponge. I did do two or three coats of this one as well, which really just helps blend all those color shifts together and make a nice smooth gradient down the nail. Now we'll take off our protective peel, makes cleanup so much easier, and then we do come in with some of the gold flaky hollow taco. And I I love these. I think that they look so good on any type of manicure, any time of year. I've been using them nonstop since I bought them. And so then you can see this one just glitters so nicely with that gradient in the background. I love how this one turned out. I think it's so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked these nail art ideas. I hope you try some out for yourself. Let me know in the comments. I look forward to making more videos and content for you guys. I love interacting with you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.